how do you get the most out of the mentoring sessions? It's important to understand that the mentoring sessions are not one-off sessions. So the individuals, especially the mentee, have to be able to track what has been achieved between the sessions because sub-goals of the main goal are decided, sub-objectives are decided and listed between the individuals so that they know what it is that they practically have to do as far as challenging assignments, whether they are value challenging assignments or practical assignments between the one session and the other session so that there's a continual plan of action for the mentee in, in, in getting to achieve that ultimate goal. So a lot of the work is happening between the mentoring sessions, allowing that person to sometimes have a quick phone call if they're coming to a learning curve that they need a sounding board to assist them in adjusting to. Whatever it is happening between is almost more fulfilling for the individual's learning relationship than are the actual mentoring sessions. It's basically being able to set a parameter and a guideline of learning that is a continual process of learning happening as I say, more between the sessions than at the actual sessions themselves before they get to achieving the ultimate goal.